So I have a uh, current design, source this GTS 2009 year model, and uh, um, I have when I bought this, it comes with a neoprene cockpit cover for storage, but that cover is actually kind of worn out. So I went ahead and I bought a uh, SEALS cockpit, SEAL Ultra 1.2. The, the number corresponding to the specific kayak um, that you have. So um, according to the SEALS, my current design 2009 year model needs a version or number 1.2. So that's what I bought and uh, made in USA. Originally, I thought it's gonna be a very heavy duty cover, but uh, when I got it, I was kind of surprised because for $30, this kind of feels um, a little bit cheap. It's a very thin um, nylon, one layer nylon construction with just some slide uh, coating on the back to prevent the rain droplets from going into the cockpit. And again, my tarp that I bought from um, Harbor Freight, that's uh, probably 10 times the size of this, um, is thicker and offers better waterproof um, capability. Um, this is a nine mil um, tarp, kind of waterproof, offers better waterproof capability as opposed to this just a simple cockpit cover. And what this also doesn't do is cover the rest of the paint to prevent the UV damage if you actually leave this outside. Okay, right? So I'm gonna be using both of those methods. Okay, I'm gonna be using the seals to cover the cockpit and then I'm gonna put the tarp on top just to make sure that if it rains, um, the rainwater doesn't accumulate inside the cockpit over here. Um, the previous owner actually did not use any kind of tarp or waterproofing and he had the neoprene cover over here um, and the kayak was sitting like this. So the rain actually got in here and it kind of just uh, made this area look really, really bad. That the shininess is gone, um, but so I want to, you know, prevent it from going bad further by properly waterproofing it for storage. And uh, granted, this is actually under the roof, so it, not much rain is going to be here. Um, so that's why I'm going to be again putting this on and then let you guys see what it looks like and uh, also let you guys know the construction quality of this seals in case you want to look for a cockpit cover for your sea kayak. Uh, my suggestion, um, it's better to have the kayak sitting backwards so the water doesn't go in here um, and also use a tarp if you store it outside. The tarp is great for waterproofing and I just use some bungee cords to actually tie both ends of the tarp and it actually works um, quite well. There's, it's always dry and it's also UV protected. So um, that's how I cover my kayak. All right. All right, I just put it on my uh, cockpit. Um, not very hard. The trick is you put on the pointy end first at the top and then you work uh, one end on the side over here. Just tuck, tuck it inside, okay? And once you tuck the other side inside, this side should go in fairly easily. And uh, um, it does look like it, it's gonna provide a very good seal in terms of um, not letting water to go in from the edge, okay? Because it actually bites pretty deep inside. I'll show you guys. Yeah, it goes pretty deep inside, like right there. There's a good amount of gap over here to bite it. So supposedly this material Again, it's nylon uh, with a single coating on the on the other side. It's gonna prevent water from going in. Um, I usually leave my kayak flipped, so it's not gonna matter much, um, but they also provide you with a, um, a little strap. So I think this is gonna be great for me. When I put the tarp on, I can put the strap in the middle and then actually just uh, give it a, a better waterproof protection once um, I set up, you know, my my kayak for storage and again I'm going to show you guys in the next section of the video. All right so as you can see this is how I store my kayak under my roof. If I lift this up you can see that I have the bottom side up so again the, the cockpit really is not going to get any water. 
but I do want to show you guys how that seal fits on the cockpit and provide additional protection um, and also to prevent some of the cats from going and sleeping inside which is kind of dangerous I think but again um, so with that said the little strap over here I could just use and tie around the cockpit area for a full circle then this uh, tarp is never gonna get lifted up you know at least from from the center area for the other side I have just a couple bungee cords that uh, I tie up on the uh, hull and the stern and it also seals the kayak pretty nicely uh, this way all right so that's that's how I um, you know store my kayak and also that's how the the seal ultra seal 1.2 looks like on my current design um, sauce this GTS so if you guys found this video helpful um, do hit the like button or subscribe to the channel and I will have more kayak related videos coming out for you guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care